not on your goals and your dreams, but in general. Have you ever noticed, taken the time to notice that there's this thing on the inside of you that feels hurried or that is encouraging you to, to hurry? I was planning a day to go out and do some shopping. I'm um, empty nesting. My daughter is in college, so maybe not really, but um, it, it's amazing because I was doing all this planning and trying to figure out the quickest way to get there and the quickest way to get back. And, you know, I just took a moment of mindfulness and I said, why are you rushing? Like, what do you have to hurry and get back home for? How many of you find yourself going to the store and in your mind you're saying, I got to hurry up and get back to the store and your only destination after that is home, is to come back home. How many of you have this innate fight or flight type feeling that's resting on the inside of you? And for as much as you may have been put in a position to feel that you need to hurry up and get it done, oftentimes this comes from a space of scarcity thinking or lack thinking, you can carry that fight or flight type of energy all the days of your life, like every single day. You're in a hurry to eat your food. You're, you drive in a hurry. You get dressed in a hurry. You even relax in a hurry. Let me hurry up and lay down for a few minutes. All of that hurried energy. I'm, I'm here today to encourage you to slow down. Again, I don't mean on your goals and your dreams. For some of you, you actually need to dream again. And the only way that you can do that is if you slow down. If you remove some of the normal routines that haven't been yielding what you really desire, some of that um, unnecessary activity that you may find yourself doing that at the end of the day is not yielding the results that you really desire. When you eat your meal, savor your food, like really enjoy it. If you're like myself, um, I love to cook. When you cook your food, cook it with love, not out of obligation. I'm encouraging you to slow down and move out of that space of limited scarcity lack thinking because that's what it's rooted in. It's rooted in a sense of, of fear. So when your internal system is afraid that you're going to miss something, lose something, or get something wrong, you don't really know what it's like to live in the moment, to really enjoy, mainly, especially for those of you who are entrepreneurs, to take the time to see if what you're building is yielding a level of fulfillment. If there is a next level that you should be reaching at this particular time, but because you've been in a hurry, because you haven't taken the time to slow down, you've simply been in the same steady routine that's not necessarily yielding you the fulfillment in the results that you desire. Slow down. We've gotten so accustomed and familiar with things that we see on social media that we may like or love or just simply allow to roll down our timelines to be a part of our life and what it is that we're doing that we often don't slow down to really think how does this fit in the dynamics of, of what I'm building and what I'm wanting to create. And I believe that you can only really tap into new levels of awareness when you take the time to slow down, when you take to, the time to see if, if this is actually making sense. One of the areas for me as a kingdom believer is, you know, definitely my, my faith and, and what I'm studying and recognizing like is what I've been studying 
is there more? Is there another level? Is there another layer to what it is that I'm reading? We, we're so in these routines. We're in a hurry to go nowhere fast. And so I encourage you on today, take a look at your brand. Look at your life. Is your life in this season of your life? Is what you're building in alignment? Where do you see what you're doing today because you're in a routine? How do you see that 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now fitting into your life? Are you doing what's necessary so that your brand can evolve as you evolve? And most of this just becomes this routine thing that we find ourselves entangled in because we never take the time to slow down. Because we are in fight or flight mode, because we're in a hurry to do some of the simplest things that we may find the most enjoyment from. I made a post earlier this morning and I said something so simple like making your bed could be the activation of good energy for your day. And maybe while you're making your bed, you can say your affirmations. You can say prayers while you're doing that thing. For those of you who leave your bed unmade, I'm you know not here to judge. I'm just saying that some of the simplest things that we don't slow down and take the time to do are some of the very things that will catapult us into our next. And so I want to challenge you to slow down long enough to look at the brand that you're building, to look at the career that you are building, how you're creating what you create in your business and ask yourself, is this my next level of fulfillment? Is this in alignment with where I desire to go? Many of you are feeling a nudge and a call to reinvent your brand. And for those of you that this message is right on time and you're ready to take the time to slow down and really take a look at what you're building and find out how much alignment is actually occurring in who you've evolved to be and where you'd like your brand to go. I've been sharing probably for a little less than a week now that the 3D Brand Masterclass will be opening soon and I would be revealing an early offer link and today is the day for that. We're going to spend three days, it's a three-day experience of you slowing down and really looking at what you're building in your brand and in your life and seeing how those things are in alignment or if they're not actually in alignment. I started my entrepreneurial journey in the beauty and wellness industry and so much of it has come full circle. I owned a full service uh, day spa for about a decade and we sold products like shea butter when shea butter wasn't a thing. And I had a connection from um, an African uh, woman who would vi revisit her country. Um, she had moved to the States and she would have those supplies shipped back in. And um, we did herbal teas and detoxes and all the things. And this was decades ago when it wasn't the popular thing to do. And I look at my coaching and consulting and my desire to live well and my, my gardening and my herbal garden, my, my love for cooking. And I, I'm just looking at how all of those things evolutionary wise are so in alignment for where my brand is evolving and where I see myself and, and my family and even the world state and my brand over this next decade. I want to be a support for you to, to host you through an opportunity of really slowing down for a moment and taking a look at what you're building and making sure it's in alignment and just doing all things branding. And you know over here, your brand is not your logo, it's not your website, it's not your pretty pictures. It's very much a part of who you are and the emotions that you are putting out into the marketplace and the people that are attracted to it and how that thing or those few things that you learn to specialize in or master how they um, work for the people who are attracted to your brand. I want to spend those three days with you helping you to reinvent, um, revisit, 
to think about what it is that you're you're building take the time to slow down that's my charge for you all today number one to slow down for some of you is simply to dream again and tapping into what you're building is, is a great way to do that there are always things that my guests uncover that they had no idea was a connecting point for what they needed to do next that was in alignment with what they desired to do and who they desired to serve and help as they're building their brand and for the next 24 hours for the first 11 people um, you will get the early offer so it's a deeply um, discounted rate for those of you who are fast action or this is simply in alignment um, you can share this with someone who you feel is in the space and sensing a nudge and an urge and a, a pull to reinvent their brand or to step more fully into what they're building and join us for the 3D brand masterclass and it's a three-day experience um, and to top all of it off I encourage you to slow down right not necessarily on your goals and your dreams but to make sure that the life that you're living you're taking time to live in the moment and enjoy it and